Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Ma Yanli from Xiamen University Zhongshan Hospital. This is my second time to report on the Voice Foundation. The first in 2017. Thanks to the Voice Foundation, give me the opportunity to present my topic. My topic is the application of dynamic CT scan in evaluating the dynamic changes of live geomorphology during inspiration and formation. Let's go to the objective. The first is to explore the dynamic changes of three-dimensional morphology of lyric during inspiration and formation. The second is to evaluate its value in differential diagnosis of unilateral workflow paralysis. We know unilateral workflow uh, paralysis may lead to morphological changes in workflow as shown in finger one. Left show us the morphology of workflow without contraction of the uh, serotonin muscle. It is the affected side of unilateral workflow paralysis. Right show us the morphology of workflow with contraction of the three uh, retinal muscle. It is the healthy side of unilateral workflow paralysis. So we can send three dimensional morphological changes of lyricus are very valuable for differential diagnosis of focal forward designation disease. But uh, because the lyricus is deep side and its movement is, is high complex, so it is difficult to still observe as a quantitative measurement. Fibro or electronic laryngoscope uh, is only available to two-dimensional assessment. And typical CT is difficult to capture three dimensional dynamic images of the larynx. NG spectrum CT is an instrument to which offers the temporal and the spatial resolution superior to typical CT and cannot inversely obtain dynamic sequence images of subjects in different range of functional states. Part two, methods. We use the dynamic CT compared with three-dimensional reconstruction technology to achieve real-time recording of the moment of larynx during inspiration and formation. Eating patients with unilateral workflow paralysis and 10 normal subjects were studied. CT stain mode was performed. 2.5 uh, seconds inspiration flow followed by formation of the and a comfortable pitch for about three seconds um, until the end of the uh, scanning cycle. The uh, scanning range was about eight centimeters, including the epiglottis cartilage to the first chicken room. The reconstruction thickness was 0 0.62 uh, mm, and the turn uh, reconstructed frames were obtained as shown in finger two. The methods of measurement uh, were shown in Table 1. All measurements were performed on the coronal plane of the midpoint of the intermembrous part of the book of work. The methods of measurement of thickness and the subglottal convection angle during inspiration and formation were shown in Table 3. Subglottal convection angle is the included angle between the superior and the inferior surfaces. Of the focal fold. Next step is the calculation of the displacement of critical cartilage. Three specific uh, points were selected from the critical cartilage as shown in Figure 4, and uh, uh, the coordinate value of each point were obtained and uh, to calculate the displacement of the critical cartilage during inspiration and formation. We found that during inspiration, the quick-cold cartilage displaced the inferior and the glottal area increased gradually. During inflammation, the quick-cold cartilage turned to displace superiorly. The glottal area decreased, uh, decreased uh, gradually and the glottal area was the smallest when the glottis closed. Combining the displacement of the quick-cold cartilage and the glottal area, 
They took the displacement of the people public from this area to superior and the turning point of the inspiration and formation. And this moment of the glorious era that was greatest. Taking subject one as an example, we believe the uh, first two fifth frames were the inspiration process. The fifth frame was the maximum inspiratory phase. The sixth through tenth frames uh, were the nation process. Part three results. First, about morphological changes of workflow during inspiration and formation. The length of the workflow became longer. The drag of change was about 1.2 uh, mm. The waist became louder. The drag of change was about 2.2 mm. The thickness became thinner. The drag of change was about 2.7 mm. The subglottal contents angle became smaller. The range of change was about uh, 32 degrees. In Singapore, flow represents uh, inspiration phase. Long flow represents formation phase. Gray represents closed phase. Now gray represents open phase. Second, about chronomorphological changes of the flow. Uh, during formation from arterial Commercial to local process. The chronomorphological changes of waterfall were the thickness became thinner, the subglobal convergent angle became smaller, the waist became broader, and the distance between waterfall is about 2 mm. The chronomorphology of waterfall uh, changed from triangle to capsule. Third, about the control group compared with the lateral workflow group. On the open face, uh, the thickness and width of the affected side was thinner and wider than those in the normal group. The value are less than uh, 0 0.01. While on the closed face, uh, the subglobal coverage angle of the affected side of the lateral workflow paralysis was larger than those in the normal group. The width of the healthy side of the electrical workflow paralysis was well than those in the normal group. There was no statistical significance in other branches. At last, we draw the conclusion. Dynamic CT scan of the uh, labs provides a simple and non-invasive message for the objective quantitative measurement of the morphological changes of the larynx during inspiration and formation. The dynamic changes of subglobal coverage and the thickness can be used in the differential uh, diagnosis of the patient with the actual morphological analysis. These are pictures of my first come Philadelphia in 2017. I hope I have another choice to come here. Uh, and thanks for your attention.